In this video, we're going to cover the directions for the creation of this exterior table, which was made to match this bench that was here and also in a previous video. The materials you're going to need for this particular table include a six foot four by four pressure treated post, and you need 20 total feet of a six inch uh, board, pressure treated wood once again. And uh, for the most part, I used uh, one and five eighths uh, exterior screws. I also used two inch screws in various locations. And then I used a quarter inch, three inch lag screw to connect the post. And uh, this drill bit is used to do some pre-drilling. That way you do not create any uh, rips in the wood as you're drilling. Next slide is going to be a video indicating uh, the process, which is the finished product. This is the table I made for this bench. I used the same six inch boards and we can see that this board right here is the full length width of this particular piece. I used four by four posts and I just simply used uh, four in the middle. I attached this one to the 4x4 post. I used 2 inch exterior screws. In this shot we see the 4x4 post and they're flush. So the bottom 4x4 front and uh, back and side pieces are flush with the bottom of the 4x4. And then this particular top board is drilled into the top of the 4x4. And then this piece right here just lines up to make sure that it's flush. You could also see the lag screw that was used right here. Now this table was a quick build. As you can see, there definitely are the screws located uh, throughout this particular build. And uh, that was just done because this needed to be done quick. I did not want to go the route of trying to you know, hide the screws. But here we could see the lag screws that were used and the lag screw is used to attach this uh, board to the 4x4. We have the 4x4 post, and then we are placing the board, and then the lag screw is just going right here. That second board is then used at the bottom, flush with the bottom of the 4x4 post, and then this section received the uh, two inch uh, exterior screws. And that was pretty much uh, the process for this. In the next slide, we see the dimensions. And um, you know, we're looking at this top image. We could see the screw right here that was used to uh, go into the top of the post. There's one here. There's also additional one here. We're looking at 18 and a half on this side, then 20 and a half. And what you want to notice also here is that this top piece, this side, is here. And then this piece right here, it's actually on the inside. And then the outside is this piece right here. And for the most part, the uh, I guess the uh, front and this back are placed on the inside of, of the side. And then the screws are going in this particular direction. That's what's going on with this particular piece. Here we see the bottom, and what we're looking at here are the, uh, the post. And then this particular board was screwed in from the top. We then see the uh, lag screw, which would be attached here, as well as in this direction. And then the bottom piece is flush with the bottom of the 4x4 post. And that was just the way I aligned it. This was painted with exterior paint. And I want to say about every two years, I go through the process of painting it once again, once the pressure treated wood dries. Looking at this particular image, we could see the bottom portion. Once again, we see the piece here. And then we would be drilling the screws in this direction. And remember, when you're drilling, you want to make sure that you are pre-drilling you want to use the uh, drill bit and then you want to you know, put the hole 
through this piece going through the 4x4 four four, and then you just want to go in with the screw to prevent any splits and breaks in the wood. Let me see yet another inside photo. Post length is 15 inches and again when you're putting this together all I did was take that post one post, two posts, and then that bottom piece I just aligned with the bottom. That's what I did there. As for the top, when the top was uh, finished, you notice that the uh, bottom of the uh, this board right here is actually sitting on the top of the 4x4. Four four. And uh, what has to happen there is the top board comes in this direction right there and then when you're putting the top piece which would be I guess this one right here that one then comes here so you don't never see this green board that is uh, you know screwed into that post it's just flush we'll see what that looks like in another image so here looking at this side we see the 4x4 four post right here and we need to put the top boards in place and those top boards are right here but you don't see the side of the top board and what I mean by that is you should technically see this board right here or the pieces that are at the top in other words those that are going in this direction but you don't see them because the uh, board, meaning this one, when this board is placed, it's actually placed here. So it covers that side. And then that bottom piece is just flush with the bottom. That's the way this one is uh, built here. Here we see yet another shot uh, with the uh, dimensions. And what I was trying to indicate before was that when you're putting this together, we see post one, post two, and then the yellow, which is actually a reference to this top board, which is just sitting on top of the two four by fours. And then, of course, the top screw, the top screw. And we're going to put the lag screw going through here, the lag screw going through here. But notice this board right here that board eventually is going to be placed right here and it's going to cover this particular yellow board you're never going to see that particular side now one thing i noticed when i made this um, when we look at the top if you notice this top board right here which is 18 and a half and then down here it's 17 and that's the result of when uh, this the bottom boards were placed, the sideboard or this piece right here, this red piece, is actually going the length. So it's actually going the length of this here, and this board is going in between. And what I mean by that is, here you see this board, which is a reference to this one, and then this one, and then the center board is placed here which is why this one is 17 and then when you look here it's just a complete opposite this one is longer because the uh, these boards here are actually the reverse of this here we see the bench that was created in a separate video and uh, it's the same 4x4 four four design with the 6 inch boards and this is pretty old I mean I want to say this thing has been up here for about 5 to 6 years and it's been pretty good condition I think I've painted it twice just noticing that this board right here is cracking but you know easy to repair just kind of take it out and swap it out and once again here we see the uh, part list I used a 4x4 four four post you could probably get away finding a 6 foot and you're going to need 20 total feet of this. Uh, you have one in uh, five eight uh, exterior deck screws, and you're probably also going to want to get some two inch screws.
and then these lag screws you're going to need about four of those and you're going to place one through here one through here and then one here and then here and then i would use you know the uh, two inch screws throughout you probably could just get away with using these but if you have both screws lying around then feel free to use them based on your needs and what it is that uh whatever you have in stock don't forget the uh, drill bit i remember when you're drilling the holes first thing you want to do is drill the hole and then put the screw in and that will prevent splitting of the wood you know often if you have that board and you don't go through the process of pre-drilling sometimes that force can split the wood then you got to crack and that's it for this video feel free to like and subscribe to this channel and then take your bench you made from the previous video take your table put a nice old drink whatever it is that you want take a nice seat and just sit there and enjoy life as you do whatever it is you want since you're done building this